Hi everyone, Janice here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching me. Today video, I'm going to share with you what I think that you should have in your kit as a beginner. I get many questions like what should I do? What do I need to start? What should I buy? And today I am going to answer all your questions. I think that as a beginner, you shouldn't go to expensive stores and buy so much expensive stuff that you actually don't know how to use. Guys, if you want to know what you should have in your starter kit, just keep watching me. dig with you and show you what are the basic products that you should get. So let's start from the foundation. I think that this foundation is a really nice one. The price of this one is $12.99. This one is the L'Oreal Infabel Pro foundation and that is a very matte finish foundation. Now, I tell you what, at first I do not want you to go and get radiant foundation and deal with foundation because I think that you will struggle with this a lot. I think that especially a matte foundation, that's what you need as a beginner because that will be more easy for you to actually apply it on your skin without any problem. You can apply it with a sponge or with a brush and that will be very easy for you to blend it on your face. And this one is right here. It's a really nice one. That's what I have on my face. The shade right here, it's 105 Natural Beige. So I think that this one is as a really nice coverage. Like you see, it's very matte, it's very flawless, and it's actually stay on all day. And this one right here, it's $12.99. Guys, don't go and buy so many expensive products and so many expensive foundation that I think that is really unnecessary. So the next thing that I think that you should have in your kit is the concealer. I get a question like, do I really have to use concealer? So I think, in my opinion, that you should have used concealer because I feel like when you do not use concealer, the whole foundation, the whole makeup just doesn't look the same. But if you are a beginner and you just want to find your way and you just want to make a baby step and you think that concealer for you is a little bit more advanced, you don't have to. But if you are really want to use concealer, so this concealer right here is a really good concealer. This one is Maybelline concealer. It's Instant Age Rewind. It's Corrector Multi-Use multi Age. So this one has a really good coverage right here. Like you see, it's a very, very good coverage right here. It stays all day and it actually covers, especially if you have a very bad dark circles. This concealer, it's really good. Now, of course, that if you do not know how to use concealer, you don't have to go and do the whole contour look and jump into the highlight and contour. Don't do this. If you use concealer and you are a beginner, just use a very little bit of concealer just under the eyes exactly right here and that's it. This concealer right here is only $7.98 so I really think that for the concealer it's not really bad. So at first really don't break the band, use the very basic stuff that you need to use but just to let you know that me even as an advanced as a makeup artist I'm still using this concealer and I think that it's great. So if you want your makeup to be long lasting, you actually have to set your makeup. You can use this first bottle right here by Maybelline. This one is called Fit, it's the matte and poreless. This one is actually, is a very dark color. I'm using it as a bronzer, but I can tell you that this one is a really good press bottle right here. And if you want to go with the loose bottle, which I think that will be great for you, I would recommend this one. So the price of this one is $5.97. And this one is a really good loose bottle. It's the very, very basic of the loose bottle. It's translucent. And I think that this one, there's a lot of people that are actually using this. You can find it in any department stores. You can also get it on Amazon. I got it from Amazon. And I think that this one is great. It's $5. 
those a lot of sitting paddle out there that actually cost $40 or $50 or even $60 and that is crazy. You can just go with a sponge and just squeeze it all over the face. It's translucent. It doesn't have any pigment. So you're fine. And I'm getting back to the bronzer. So this one right here, it's the Maybelline Fit Poreless and Matte Press Paddle. This one right here is 332 and that is the bronzer that I'm actually wearing for right now. And like you see, it has a very warm shade into it. It's not that warm. I like to use bronzer especially to sculpt my face, but also to give it a little bit warm, a little bit color to my face. If you feel like you don't want to use bronzer because you feel like it's too much color for you, you do not have to. It just gives more color to the makeup. It changes all the makeup, all the way that it looks. And basically, if you are a beginner and you want to learn a little bit how to do contour and stuff like that, so I think that to start from press paddle, that would be a great idea. Now this bronzer right here is $5.28. That is not bad at all. Now again, you can get it in any department stores, any drug stores, in Amazon. You can get it anywhere basically, even I think in Walmart. I think that this one, it's a really good bronzer. It actually stays on me all day. I've been using it for a while. And I think that as a beginner, you shouldn't go and buy a very expensive products. I I think that this one is really easy to blend in. I don't think that there's a lot of bronzer actually that are more expensive, but it's very hard to blend in the skin. And then you end up with hood mole <laughs> on the cheekbone. So you don't want it to happen to you. Just use the very basic one and you're good. Start for focus on the skin. Let's start from the basic. Let's make a baby steps. And now for the blush. This is the blush that I put on today. This one is Fit Maybelline Blush. Now this one right here is $4.62. The shade is Peach. This one has a very nice color into it. Like you see on my cheeks, it, it has a very beautiful color. I'm just gonna go and grab a little bit so you can see what i'm talking about and you can see this beautiful pigmented color right here it's not too pigmented it's just a very classic blush it has a very peachy color and it's not too matte i feel like especially as a beginner it's very hard for you to choose all the colors so i think that if you do not know how to play with pigmented colors and obviously because you are a beginner so I think that you should choose very natural very neutral colors that is very that are very natural so you just play safe that you know that you are not going to end up like a clown now this brush right here it's very beautiful it gives you a very nice natural look it doesn't look too much and i think that it has a very peachy pinky look and i love this one so i highly recommend this for the eyeliners we have this beautiful highlighter palette right here this one is by anata cosmetics and it has a very beautiful shade right here and so i have this one right here like you see i have it right here the colors are so beautiful are so pigmented now this one right here it's only nine dollars and 99 cents it's almost ten dollars but i have to say ten dollars for four colors it's not that bad at all i really cannot wait to swap everything on my hand so i'm just gonna go and do it wrap it on my hand look at the colors the colors are so beautiful so pigmented this one is actually really catching my eye it's very pigmented it's very strong i got this from amazon i don't know if you can find it on department stores but i guess that it's worth the try but if not you can get it from amazon in two days and you have it so i guess like why not Alrighty, so we're moving on to the eyeshadows. This one right here is the Beauty Glazed. Now this one has so many beautiful eyeshadows and I do have some of them on myself. And this one is so beautiful. Now look, I don't want you to look all in the colorful colors and say, oh my gosh, I want to do pink or purple. At first, you need to be in the neutrals. You can basically use this new shade right here with the very light shade right here 
that one has a very nice shade right here that actually is really good quality and this eyeshadow palette right here it's nine dollars and 88 cents i got this from amazon go to cvs walmart to any drugstore or and actually find high shadow palette very cheap in very affordable prices and i think that milani has a very nice eyeshadow palette as well and i think that you can find like so many others brands like nyx or anything like that that actually have a very pro quality products that you can use them but at first try to use only neutrals don't go to the very colorful colors because then you will come back home and be like wait what why do i need to do with this i have no idea so just stay in the neutral for a while and when you feel like you can take step up then go and buy whatever you want i think that as a beginner you should watch so many videos on youtube and see what you like better and kind of try to find your voice and find your style so you know that if you want to move on to the next step you can do it but if you don't know how to do this so try not to buy so many products that you don't know how to use them for the five flashes i really think that you should use something very easy what i have on today it's actually from allure and i got it from target i guess and it was like about six dollars i'm just gonna put it right here and this one is a very easy to apply Hi. it's very very nice it's actually pre-glued so you just take the false lashes and just put it on you don't have to mess with the glue and all this kind of stuff because you don't want to it's just gonna be like a mess especially as a beginner i mean me it took me for i think like about six months to learn how to put false lashes on myself like that was like so hard so i think that i first use these eyelashes this one is very very easy you just take the eyelashes and just put it on the lash line that's all i would recommend using l'oreal mascara this one right here is voluminous i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce it it's something about volume and this one is lash paradise the shade right here is mystic black and like you see this one is really thick it's actually really lift the eyelashes it gives you a very nice volume and it's actually not getting your eyelashes very flaky so i think that this one it's a really nice mascara right here and that's right here it's nine dollars and 89 cents that again it's not expensive at all it's very affordable like if you go to the department stores and any drug store or any stuff like that you can actually get all the makeup that you need in just 100 bucks and i think even less than that i am not sure about that but i just guessing right here and i think that under bags for hold the face it's not bad at all i mean Sometimes I can go to Sephora and buy just two products in under bags and I would be like, what? What just happened right here? But I don't want you to do this because you are a beginner. Don't break your bank, okay? Just at first, make sure that you get the products that you really need. Just get the very basics. Okay, so for the brows, I'm actually not using anything, to be honest with you. Like you see, I have a very fully thick brows. Thank you, mama. I love you. When I'm doing makeup for someone else, I use this pencil right here by Pixie. This one is brow gel pen. It's this one right here. And I think this one is about $7.99. I don't know how much is this, so you guys check me out. I got it from actually from Target, and that is a very nice one. But I think that as a beginner, don't jump into the pencils too fast. If you have the opportunity to use a brow shadow, that will be really great because I think that will be much more easier for you to apply it on the brows. And if you feel like you want something very natural, if you already have a nice fully thick brows, so I will use this one. This one is the NYX Professional Makeup. This one right here, it's mascara for the brow and it's really, really nice. You just go and you just apply it on the brow and it's really nice. I think that I got it for like about $6. Again, that is not bad at all. And I think that I have it for over a year. So that's 100% worth it. And 
and for the lipsticks I remember myself going to the stores and just take a lot of lipsticks and using just one of them so I really think that as a beginner you should have one shade that is light that's your everyday shade like something nude and one that will be for nighttime, you know, when you go out and you feel like you want to have a little bit more glam to your look. So I really recommend this one right here. This one is the NYX lipstick, it's a bottle glass. And this one right here, it's for about $5.99. It has a very nice cherry color into it. It's kind of cherry red. I'm not sure if it's that red, but I think it's more like a cherry color. It's very beautiful, it stays for you all day on the lips and I think that this one is really great too. If you want, you can go to NYX and they actually have so many beautiful lipsticks. You can just get one nude and one red and you're good to go. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching me and I will see you next video. Just before you go, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Press on the bottom right here so make sure not to miss any of my content and I will see you next video. Bye bye.